oops I almost forgot about the shoulder and uh, we'll take care of her right now um, again I highly stress be very very careful with these very very small red thrusters which I painted on one side let's see how it looks on this so I'll put that here come on get in there then I'll put that here I was like dreading, dreading. I was like, no, please don't lose one of these guys. Yeah, again, it will be covered, but it doesn't matter. Come on, there we go. And push it in a little bit more. There you go. Here are the, the two, th the two um, shoulders. Obviously, this is the one that's been damaged, and eesh. but I'll hopefully get the chance to clean this up. All right, these two are complete. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, the next part of the build is going to be the legs of the full armor Gundam version Katoki from the Thunderbolt series. Now, I made a bit of a goof. And I should have looked at the manual more closely. But I kind of fault Bandai on this. So, turns out that it, one, the, the longer one, the longer uh, tube uh, should be going to the arms. While, the, while there were three, uh, six, uh, six of these for the legs. And the reason I'm saying this is because in the manual, you're supposed to put the uh, fabric around this area here. Then a fabric down here that connects to the leg, to the foot, and a fabric over here that connects to the upper part of the leg. I did not know that, and I should have uh, foresaw that, but that was my mistake. It's not a complete loss because you could still use it. We'll cover that in a moment. But for now, let's scrunch up some of these uh, these um, things. I should, I should have gotten a toothpick. Well, let me use this. Now you'll definitely need the hobby knife or a scissor because you need to remove the excess. So I'll put that there. Like so. Now I'll crunch it up. Like so. There we go. All right, so that takes care of that that one. We'll put this to the side. Let's open this one. Put this one up. So that takes care of that one. Let's keep that there. Put this to the side right now. Keep it there. All right. So the first thing we're going to work on is the feet. Um, this one's already been pre-done, so we're okay with that. But we'll need this, and we'll go on top of this. And then we'll need this. We'll go on top of that, like so. Then you stick it, slide it in. There we go. Till it goes all the way in. Then this part in this position slides in right there. This is a little slider there. Make sure you go all the way in because when you take the blue part for the heel, you slide it upwards, like so. 
that completes that. Not completely though. <laughs> then you take the these two parts. One goes there. One goes here. And then the uh, the shin guard. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Slide it into place like so. I kind of like how this came out because it, uh, I didn't have to worry about appreciating. I'm sorry, not appreciating. Um, panel lining it, but I will pass something there for now. So the foot is complete. Now we're gonna work on the on these. So this is the left leg. And uh, we're going to begin with the, uh, the this one right here. Pull this one up. Then slide it in like so. I'm going to use the thinner one, the thin longer one, for the top part of the leg. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that in a moment. Turn it like that. Crunch it down a bit. Now we're going to begin from the bottom because there's a, um, a notch right here. Oops, I'm going to pull it up. So it has to be like this right above where the hole is hitting that. Then you take these two guys, which I already assembled. One goes here. And the other one goes here. Now, so you know the left, um, the armor for this, this part represents the um, the thrusters on the on under the um, leg, under the shin, you could say, uh, no, under the L, um, the knee. And this is where it gets a little tricky. You want to make sure you don't want to crunch it up too much where it makes it difficult for you to put it in. There we go. So this looks like that. Now you bring it down a tad to give it some slack here and some something. Find the the end of this, which I did right there. Okay, that goes there. Oh, that's right. You need to bend this, so it looks like that. I'm sorry. I should have thought of that. Once it's bent around, then you cut. Careful with the knife. This one, this knife is pretty sharp. I just, it's, uh, I found it like someplace that I never opened up, and I used it, and I'm using it now. So just be careful. Don't rush it. There we go. All right. So that's that's like that. And to close this up, you'll need this. That will go there. Whoops, the other side. And then the other one that goes here. But don't close them, because now you're going to need this. I'm going to use the long one, of course. So let me just expand it out a bit. It will fit, though. Just so you know, I had a hard time. And I was like saying to myself, why is this thing not going through the white one? Maybe I should do the bottom one. Let me see. Yeah, the bottom one seems to be okay, but then you're going to need it for this, and we'll cover that in there. So I'll use the, the, the big one right here. Okay. 
All right, there we go. So open this up a bit because the fabric has to hit the um, the little holes there. And make sure that goes there. Make sure that goes there. And then there we go. Now we need this. Now it says to put it on while it's cur bent, but I'm gonna unbend it right now, keep it in straight because this will be a bit of a chore to get in. And if you have to cut it, I don't think that's a big deal, but I'm going to see if I can bend that one in there. Good. I think, we, I think we can we can swing this without any problems. Okay, so that's done. Then you bring it up like so. I feel a little bit of pressure, but maybe I'm okay with that. Um, I'm going to bend it again. Because now I need to put these two guys here. Find the hole. I knew this was going to come out, but don't worry about it being loose. There we go. Now open it up. There we go. Now, we take the calf leg armor. This one goes in the front. This ha I had a hard time putting this on, on the other leg, so so you know. But this one goes like that. And this one goes like that. And you may have to snap it in very hard. It, it, it's tough. It, it, it really is, and it's probably because of the, the excess uh, plastic in there. Let's see if I can... I don't want to waste too much time. This guy right here. Okay. We'll leave it there for now, and if I have to go back to it, I'll go back to it. But let's, let's see if we can get it in. There we go. I think that's I think that's good. Alright. Good. So that part is done. And obviously what happens is now we bend this um, this way. Then you want to. I want to do this a bit because we'll need this for this part, which will act as an O ring to latch on this. And then we'll use a. Uh, we'll use a knife to cut it open. But before we do that. We take this guy. Oh, wait, no, we're not done yet. Take this, then this, of course. Connect this this way. Oops, the wrong way. There we go. Now we take this. Put it in there. Funnel it up all the way until it's under these two notches a little bit more would be fine so then we take these two guys open it believe oops wrong way yeah that's right Put that there. And then put this one here. Alright. 
There we go. Believe. All right, now, again, you, um, you'll you use this to, actually, no, I'll give it, yeah, fine. I guess I can do a little bit, but we'll do this. Because you're going to need to use this little ring. Keep it like that for now. Ooh, I made a mistake. Don't you just hate that? That's all right. We'll just flip it around. No loss. At least I didn't glue it. So it goes like that. Then we take the red parts. One goes here. The other one goes there. Like so. Take this part. And this part. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Stay right there. Now we take the armor part. And I put it through here. There we go. Then we have this part that goes there. This part that goes on this. And it's for this. And we have these two little ones that goes up front. So one goes there. One goes there. Put that there. And then, let's see if I can put this on. Here we go. I might as well. Let's do this. to work. You see? Okay, I, I, I recovered from that goof, but, yeah, you know, it's a, you know, this is a one-time gimmick for this. I don't think we're going to be seeing future Gundam model kits in the near future doing the same feature that you're seeing here. But regardless of the case, it is unique, and uh, this is what it lo would look like, of course, before the armor is pl applied. But, 
for now. This is not bad. Okay, let's now move on to the next part of the build.